Coach Steve here. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the time frames that are built in by default as quick time frames in the Thinkorswim platform. So we have choices here built in of one minute, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hour, daily and weekly. But you can customize this list or you can change the parameters like for the daily chart, you could change it so it looks at more data or less data. And let me show you what that would do. So if I was looking at this daily chart, when I click on the daily chart right now, as I go down the symbol list, by default, it's set up to show me one year of data. So I could come up here and I could click on customize the list, select the one year of data, and then I could select edit. And if I click on time interval, I can change this to be six months of data. All right, or even three months of data. Let's look at what six months would do and let's see what kind of difference it makes. So then I would hit OK and then hit apply. And once I do that now, if I come down here and click on the daily chart, it's giving me less data. It's giving me six months worth of data. So maybe it's a little bit better to look at. But what if I was to change this instead of to six months of data? What if I was to change it to Let's edit it down to three months, see what happens. Now click Add, click Apply, click OK. And now when I select it, watch what happens here. So now I'm looking at a much smaller amount of data, three months of data. And if you were going through the list of charts, instead of having to resize the chart, like if I was looking at this chart, maybe for a quick glance, it's good to see the whole pattern. But if you want to zero in on a smaller amount of time, what it's been doing over the past few months, you might want to have it. If that's what you do more often, then you might want to change the setting on the daily chart so that you can more easily go through your list. There is another alternative. Each time you go down the list here, let's say I wanted to look at Baba, I could come down here and I could zoom in and become the same chart that I have over there by showing three months of data. But if I click the next symbol, it goes back to the one year of data and then I could zoom in again or go back to the next symbol and I can zoom in again. Now, another alternative would be clicking the next symbol and then just capturing how much data you want to see. So if you wanted to see about three months of data, you could just drag over and capture the amount of data that you'd want to see. And you could duplicate what would happen if you had it set by default for three months. So what it comes down to is what's what's best for you and what do you most often use? So if more often you would rather use a smaller amount of data and not have to zoom or scroll or capture the data each time and zoom in, then what you could do is you could actually define it as a separate daily chart. So let's say I wanted to add a second one. Maybe I want to have the daily data be a year for when I want to look at the data uh, of a, a year's worth of daily data. But I'd also like to have three months of data when I'm looking through charts on a smaller window or when I have multiple charts on the screen. So let's go down to customize list. And this time we're going to add a time frame. So since I already have the three months data for daily saved, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, all right, right now it's set by default to one year and it's set to daily right now. So if I just click add this, what it's done now is it's added the one year daily chart to my list. And by default, they give you eight quick charts on the list and you can add up to as many as 10. And then you can actually organize them the way you want to. I can highlight it and then move it up so that it's uh, right next to the other daily chart. And then if I hit apply and hit OK, now I can come up here and maybe on the left side window, I could have the one year of data. And on the right side window, I could click on the three months of data. And now this time, as I scroll down, the left side chart would show me the longer duration where I could see, you know, a broader picture of what's been going on. And the right side chart would show me, you know, a more zoomed in version. And it's not that you couldn't zoom in on your own. You could zoom in or zoom out. It's just giving you a, a way of more quickly going through the tasks that you would prefer. And it's, it's a way to customize the platform to your needs.